I have to warn you. I'm punchy today. No, George, I'm not going to be not punchy today. I'm, I'm going to let Jesse be Jesse. I know that you know that I was punchy today. But people listen to me because I'm Jesse, and I'm not going to pretend to be somebody else. Thank you. Go get your own podcast. No, the podcast, I suppose you could say this is your podcast because you interfere with it so much. Get, but you don't have your own podcast. You're, just, you're, you're like the CEOs I'm complaining about today. Go, go. I, you know, speaking of CEOs interfering with stuff, and George isn't even the CEO. He's just the observer, and he managed to take up the first 40 seconds of the podcast. How many managers interfere with their own companies? I was talking with, a, I believe it was Bulgarian. Uh, he, he started in sales, got to be COO of his company in China. And long story, takeover. The, the son couldn't take over the company, so dad sold the company. But he made the company profitable very, very quickly and easily. I mean, yeah, he's going to fire all the people that were hired because of nepotism, but he's, which is hiring family members for those of you in Read Rapids. But he also just had one simple policy. The customers are allowed to talk to the engineers. How is it? Don't have to go, you know, send a message to the executives and the executives approve it and send it to the engineer. No, let the engineers talk to the customers. And how is it? The customers are not your enemy, dude. It's, it's management that's the enemy. And, and that's the thing that managers don't get about themselves. You don't, you don't need to protect your company from your customers. They're not going to try to take your company. It's the managers that are all worried about trying to take the company. And that's, that's what we've got with, you know, own cloud. Awesome concept. Dropbox on your own web server. It's yours. You own the space that Dropbox or that your, 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 your cloud backup files are on. And gives you your own contact address books, your own calendar, your own, uh, you know, notes in case you like uh, Evernote and are irritated with Evernote getting a little bit, uh, you know, irritating. Evernote just told me you only have, you know, two, two devices. Fine. Fine. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ship on Evernote. They don't, they don't get, they don't, so many companies don't know, how, they don't know how to relate with people. Freemium is the way to go. You have a lot of stuff that's free. And then, and then the customers that need your product for money, charge them money, which is less money than they would pay to have a developer do it themselves. That's how to make stuff work. Or like a League of Legends, free to play, but if you want to be fashionable, you pay through the nose and people will pay through the nose to be fashionable. Totally. Well, you know, the concept of open source is this. One, the customer can make it himself. That's the idea. Don't give us suggestions. Just make it and we'll roll it in. All you, you pay for your product. They give it to you free, but you pay for it through your suggestions by making it yourself. And it works. That's open source. And own cloud, however awesome it was, the managers irritated the engineers. They got mad and left. And, and it was a lot of stuff with own cloud. Like if, if you got the desktop app on your computer, it had a lot of duh, no brainer. Why don't they just do this? I mean, I, I was running it on Ubuntu and it was broken because, because they weren't doing their homework to get a good Ubuntu installer. So I can imagine why the engineers at own cloud got irritated and left about a year ago. They started next cloud. I just installed it. It's awesome, dude. I mean, I've got a server. Five, five, ten dollars a month. I've got my own web server, like with 30 gigabytes on it. And, and it's running Nextcloud. And it's awesome. It does photo uploads. You know, Dropbox, if you want to turn photo uploads on, you have to reinstall it. <laughs> with Nextcloud, free app. Own Cloud, you had to pay a dollar or two or something for it. Nextcloud's Android app is totally free. You just click, check mark, photo auto upload, on or off. And it goes to my own space. Awesome. So much no brainer stuff that just makes sense after the engineers got irritated with their, the managers and left own cloud and started their own thing. Same thing happened with sweet CRM. They left sugar CRM. LibreOffice came from open office after the evil Oracle came and purchased open office. Zen photo 20 was started by the guy, the geek engineer guy that started Zen photo and got irritated with that manager. I just stories of irritating management. They go into other sectors. Cathay Pacific 
losing big money. Why? Oil is $50 a barrel and they hedged on oil when it was $100 a barrel. So they're trying to fill up kerosene in their planes, which is what you fly in planes, over the Pacific Ocean at $100 a barrel with prices at 50 That made sense to those people because they've never actually started anything. They're managers. HTC, a while back, they owned Beats Audio. Beats, you know, the, the headphone. Yeah. They owned Beats Audio. HTC was losing money everywhere else for the most part. I don't know the details. They sold Beats Audio. They didn't sell the stuff they were doing a bad job with. They didn't farm out the stuff that they didn't know what they were doing with and let somebody else manage it better. They sold the one asset that they had. That Somehow that made sense to those managers. And, and the reason it made sense to them is because they've grown up in a comfortable office environment trying to be business pioneers because any business leader has to be a pioneer. They're trying to be pioneers in a land that's already settled. They have never blazed their own trail. They've got a career that's kind of cut out for them. Now they can improve it, but they don't know how to decide where a bridge should go or where a pass should go through the mountains. They don't know how to discover that. So, gee, oil prices are going up. We should probably hedge. Okay, well, that makes sense if you don't know the normal risks associated with the real business world. I mean, the secret to finding a good CEO for the company is to get the CEO who built the company to that point in the first place. (laughs) Which means that it should only be pretty much run by the founder. Uh, Or... Or I suppose by someone else who started something and is willing to take on an additional project, but still keep his own. So I was talking with my friend and he's, he's a sales guy, uh, in, in the, uh, wholesale industry, which means, I mean, he's making about 6,000 us dollars a month in his first year. He hasn't finished his first year yet selling, um, carbon, uh, parts. And, and I was talking with him. I, I said, I could follow your path. I could do it, but I don't see enough trailblazers. I, th- there's just too much incompetence running the world. Um, the, 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 the world's run by too many idiots. In the 1950s, I probably would have tried to be a salesman or a company executive because there would have been competent people at the helm. I don't know if all my ideas are good or not. I don't know. But the problem is, the people running the show too much of the time. I mean, there are a few exceptions, but not many. The the guys running the show, they think that their stupid ideas are good. And you have to argue with them and fight tooth and nail to get them to do an I- your bad idea rather than their idea that's worse. And 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 I I, I said, I've got to figure out how to be a good leader because there's a shortage of, of trailblazers in the world. I don't, I don't want to, but I'm convinced that things can change and improve. And, and I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to rehearse this. Prepare to say this to people every day, just because it didn't work for you at the time you tried it doesn't mean that I'm not able to make a change greater than zero. Don't ever let someone tell you that things can't be improved. What is their stake in the status quo? Maybe I should get to the point. Jesus warned that a prophet is never welcome in his hometown. Even his mother and brothers treated him like he was crazy at times. But this was not a rule that a prophet must conform to. It was a warning to the hometown and family. We have a natural tendency to think less of people in our close circles. Think of the logic of that. No one close to me could ever be brilliant. So anyone I know who talks big, I'll put him in his place. Don't do that. Strange as it sounds, heed good ideas, even from friends. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.